Okay, here are the answers to the St. Edward's 2013 Paper 1 Scholarship Examination. Uh, it's a non-calculated paper, uh, including all your workings in the book there. So question one is fractions, uh, which ones are smaller than one ninth, um, one tenth, and one hundredth there uh, for your mark. A ninth is half of one eighteenth, uh, and it's also two thirds of one sixth. And I did that by, by saying the fraction is x, two thirds of x is one ninth, uh, then flipping times, and x is two sixths there. Uh, six thirds is nineteen thirds which is 57 ninths of your darts. Triple 19 is 57, uh, so 57 ninths. Uh, then the last bit, put them in order of size. Um, well, that actually pairs. 0.454 is same as 27 fiftieths, and that's smaller than five quarters, which is the same as uh, 1.25. Question two is about Egyptian fractions. Um, so what you have to do is add those two fractions together, uh, which is seven tenths. And then to get five ninths, uh, you're told that one of them is one quarter. Um, so one quarter is five twentieths, which means you've got four twentieths left to make nine twentieths, and four twentieths is one fifth. So the other fraction is one fifth there. Question three is equations and simplifying. Um, so part one, uh, get your variables on the left and your numbers on the right. Uh, leave it as a mixed number, six and a quarter. I'm sure it wouldn't be wrong if it was 6.25. Um, I generally prefer to put it as a fraction, especially if it's not quarters or halves. Uh, simplify the expression. Uh, be very careful with negatives. Um, when you're multiplying out brackets, especially on this last one. Um, so it's plus 21y at the end, do not forget that. And then collect like terms very carefully, uh, remembering that you're taking away all these constants um, and adding all the variables. So it's 62y minus 56. Uh, factorise the expression, remember to get it, factorise it fully. So the largest you can take out is 3xy. Uh, and then that leaves 3x minus y plus 1 inside brackets. Uh, and it's always worth checking with these ones that if you multiplied it out, you would actually get what you factorised in the first place, especially for three marks. So check it, 3xy times 3x is 9x squared y. 3xy times minus y is minus 3xy squared. Uh, and then 3xy times 1 is 3xy. Question four is about a rectangle. Um, the area, I drew a quick little diagram uh, to help me with my thinking. So the area is 15AB and the perimeter is 6A plus 10B. Um, and then you've just got to work backwards from the area uh, and the perimeter, and then you get 3A and 4A. Question five is about percentages of amounts. Um, so 55%, either do it with 50% or 5% and add them together, or 55 over 100 times 60, which is 33. Uh, similar idea here with this, you can either work out 25% of 24, which is 6, and add it on, um, or multiply like this. And then finally, just write it out, 30%, 40%, 50, cross cancel, and you're left with 6. Uh, the other way is to work backwards, 40% 50 is uh, 20, 30% of 20 is 6, so you can do it that way. Um, which calculate decreases the number by 30%? Well, if it's reduced by 30%, that means you've got 70% left, uh, and the one of these that equals 70% is 0.7. Uh, number six is a nice little logic problem here. Uh, I drew a quick diagram. So A to B, I know that's half, and he's walked um, six miles after halfway, and that left five kilometers to B, five miles to B, so that half is 11. So the whole distance 
is 22. So a nice little diagram can really help there. Okay, number seven, uh, we know the perimeter, we've got to find the area. Um, so what I did is I worked out all the lengths around the outside. So the length of one square is eight. So the area is nine lots of the area of one square. So nine times 64, uh, which is 576 centimeters squared. which coincidentally is 24 squared. Number eight, uh, we've got a window, uh, two pieces of glass. The area of the square is one meter squared. Um, so the first thing you can do is write down the radius, which is uh, 0.5 meters or 50 centimeters. So the approximate area of the, set, the semicircle is pi times 50 squared over two. Um, which I cancelled the two, uh, 1,250 pi centimetres squared. Um, and then I said if, if pi is approximately 3.1, uh, it would be this, 3,875 centimetres squared. If pi is approximately 3.14, um, you get 3,925. Um, or you could even say if pi is approximately 3, in which case it would be 3,750. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you use, I don't think, um, but just make sure you, you make your assumption clear what you're assuming pi to be. Right, number nine is uh, significant figures. Um, one significant figure, which is, uh, so I rounded those to one significant figure and got six. I did the same with this one. Um, 30 times 20 over 6 times 4, which is 600 over 24. I cross count, I simplified that, I cancelled it, and I got 25. Question 10 is about converting units. Uh, 2 minutes, 2 meters, 12 centimeters is 2,120 millimeters. Uh, 4 hours and 20, 12 minutes uh, is 4.2 hours. Um, I guess they're looking for 4.2 rather than um, 4 hours and 1 fifth, but I, I, I think you could get away with that if you put 4 and a fifth. Uh, 20 kilometres per hour um, into metres per second, while well, it's 20,000 metres per hour, divided by 60 metres per minute, divided by 60 metres per second. Uh, so it's a fraction, simplify everything, and you end up with uh, 50 over 9, which is 5 and 5 ninths, or 5.5 recurring metres per second. Probably, well, this one's quite tricky as well. Um, I imagined that there's a box with dimensions 4 metres by 5 metres by 2, sorry, 4 centimetres by 5 centimetres by 2 centimetres. Uh, and then what I did is I converted them into metres. Uh, which gave me 0 0.00004 metres squared. Right, question 11 is just looking at equivalent calculations. Um, and they all equal 60, so it's 250 there. Uh, 0 0.025 for that one. Um, 6 divided by 0 0.1. If you divide by decimal, uh, you get a larger result. And then this one you have to divide by 0 0.001 to get 60. Uh, number 12 uh, is a bit of substitution. So remember your rules of bit mass, do the indices before you multiply or divide, and then it gets fairly easy. 1500, uh, and then B is 20. Simplify that expression, you need to cancel the C's, and you can cancel the D. So you're left with 3d over 5. Question 13 is a nice little angle question. Um, I continued this line AB uh, to create a triangle here. Um, you can also uh, split uh, through B with another parallel line and that, that's quite useful um, to work it out. But whichever way you do it, uh, A is 30. Number 14 is a nice little ratio question. 
Um, shares in the ratio 2 to 3 to 5. Z receives 60 more sweets than X. Uh, so at the moment, they've got a difference of 2. Sorry, 3. The difference is 3. Uh, so you mul you'll multiply if your ratio is 20, because 3 times 20 gives the difference of 60. Uh, so if you multiply all of them by 20, you get 40, 60, 100, which gives you a total number of sweets of 200. And again, it's well worth checking. Uh, 40 to 100 has got a difference of 60. Question 15. Uh, it's covered a distance of 10 kilometers. So what I did was I drew a little diagram here. Um, I said that he ran X kilometers at 15 kilometers an hour. And then he runs the rest, so 10 minus X uh, at a walk. Uh, his total time is x divided by 15, his time running, uh, plus his time walking, which is x minus 10, 10 minus x over 8, and the whole time equals 1 hour. So that's my equation. Total time, time running, plus time walking is 1 hour. Uh, then multiply both sides by uh, 15. So that's 5 on the bottom there. So multiply both sides by 15, uh, collect like terms, and you get that x is 7.5 kilometers. So we ran for 7.5 kilometers. Question 16, uh, five cards on the table. Um, I quickly drew out what the, the five cards were, uh, and then I drew a, a, a table of possibilities here. I've put crosses in the court, in the diagonal, because if he's taken the circle, he can't take the circle again. Um, but if he takes a, a rectangle, there is another rectangle he can take. So that's why I've put two rectangles and two triangles, but only one circle. Uh, and then it, the problem is he gets at least one square. So they're squares, not very good drawing. Uh, I've ticked all the places where there's a square. Uh, I've worked out all the possible combinations, which is 20. So it's 14 out of 20 which is 7 twentieths, and uh, again for four marks it's well worth doing that um, because first of all it shows my, my thinking, my logical thought process and secondly it's an accurate way of getting an answer. You could have also done it um, with a probability tree, uh, square, no square, square, no square and done it like that, um, but this one's probably a, a quicker, easier way for two variables.